Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. Ryan, aka Bloodshot Airbrushing, and Poochie sleeping in the corner. We won't bother him today. Um, ah, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the next installment of the pinup. I know I'm like days behind. Guys, I was up to like 4 a.m. literally putting the idle touches on the editing of the next video and gah yeah doing this all on my phone guys uh everything the whole editing process recording process everything is being done on this little phone it's only got so much memory I couldn't do an upload, I didn't have enough memory, so I started going back and deleting some older videos so I could get some memory, so I could upload my brand new edited video, and whoops, <laughs> I deleted the wrong file, lost the edited video, I still have all the recordings guys, it's all there, I just gotta take that three hours and again, turn it into like a half an hour, I'm gonna try to go a little shorter this time, it's always easier the second time round, so <laughs> have some patience guys, but in the meantime, I owe you guys a hack video, do I not? Uh, I'm sure that I do, I know a lot of you guys have asked and I've even had some communication back and forth, hmm. Hmm, how do we fix a bent airbrush needle? How do we fix a flared airbrush nozzle? And if you're like me and you're running your airbrush without the needle protector, guys, it is really easy to bend that needle. I do it all the time. Does it stress me out? You know it don't. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get right into it. I'm going to get my brush out. I'm going to explain a little bit, throw you guys on the tripod, and I'm going to give you some tips, guys, to get you through this. I know it can be frustrating, and sometimes it's like, <gasps> I can't work. My needle's broken. My brush isn't spraying. I got deadlines. I got to wait for a new needle to come being shipped to me. If you're in Canada, it's hard to get these things. <laughs> All right, guys. None of that. We just handle this on our own. <laughs> all right, guys. With all that being said, I'll make this a quick one. Uh, I still have that uh, days, two days of editing that I lost. All right. I'm not going to stress over it. We'll make it happen. All right, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So I just put a little bit of blue in my brush and my thumb, apparently. And, uh... <laughs> Just want to show you, okay? This is a fully functioning yeah rush. There is a perfectly fine needle nozzle combination in here. And I don't know about you guys, but don't you hate it when you're just working away and along comes a poochie, you're like, what? I didn't even bend it. <laughs> Give it a quick test, and I guess we'll try that again. <laughs> All right, guys, I put a little bit of blue in my brush, and I'm just going to show you this is a fully functioning airbrush. All right, this is what I've been using for all the videos you guys have been watching. I've got two. This is my HP seat which is a little bit of a bigger cup, a little bit of a bigger needle nozzle, and I got my HPB, which is a little bit smaller. But fully functioning airbrush, all right, guys? And I don't know if this ever happens to you. It probably does. All the time. You're working away, and all of a sudden, a bulldozer comes crashing into your garage. You're like, what? What was that? Oh, guys. Guys. What did we do? Well, first we mucked up our piece. That's right, I wasn't going to sell it anyways. Oh, look what we did to our needle. Can you see that? Oh, does that make you cringe? Does that make you cringe? Not me, guys. <laughs> All right. So, when I'm in this predicament and I'm like, whoa, what do I do? First things first, guys, don't panic. 
panicking gets you nowhere. My handiest tool for fixing airbrush needles, guys, is a pair of needle nose pliers, but teethless, all right? So this is just flat. There's no teeth in there. There never was. There never will be. It's a flat pair of pliers, needle nose, super tiny. So the first thing you got to do, I know, let's bring you guys in here. Let's bring you guys in here. Real time. This is the same airbrush. It's not going anywhere. There's no trickery, guys. This is all real time. All right, same needle. I hope you can see that little bend. All right, guys, so what I do first, you do not want to try to pull that needle out at this point, guys. If you do, well, you'll flare your nozzle. What, you know what? The nozzle may be flared from this accident anyways. We'll get to that. So the first thing you got to do, guys, carefully, <laughs> carefully, mm -hmm. is you're just going to take that needle, bend her down. And you see, I didn't actually twist the pliers. I held the pliers perpendicular, guys, and just gave it a little pinch. And so, once again, guys, just give it a little pinch and pull away, like so. And what that did, guys, is that brought my needle, so now it's straight instead of pointing up in the wrong direction. So now, guys, I can easily... J uh... So now, guys, I can easily unscrew and okay it might be a little tough it did take a bit of a kick so again pliers all right just give it a little little hand pull her out we got some paint on there because i didn't clean it but that's okay we're leaving this paint in here because i want to show you guys when i'm done this is still going to be a fully functioning airbrush you betcha ah <laughs> all right so i'm going to clean off this little bit of paint all right guys So now can you see that? That thing is mangled. It actually has two, not one, but two bends in it. All good, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our needle nose pliers. And all I do is I pinch that needle down, okay? Making sure it's perpendicular at a nice 90 degree angle, guys. And then I just lightly roll it while I'm pinching on my pliers, okay guys? So I'm pinching, I'm rolling, and I'm pulling it out. I'm gonna quickly give it another quick cleaning here, guys. Check her out, and then back at it, guys. Ever so carefully, ever so gently. Taking your time, guys. No need to rush this. Checking it, back at her. And you just keep finessing it, all right? until now again guys this isn't perfect okay so now it still has that little bit of a kick to it but it is getting a heck of a lot better than what it was so next step is up to you guys I've done it to where I've gotten this pretty straight with just the pliers so you can keep finessing that, keep pulling it through, keep working it, work it girl. Okay, that didn't just come out of my mouth, but it did. Uh, do me a favor, just pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> and as I'm twisting, I'm kind of clamping down on the pliers, okay? So it's not always constant pressure sometimes. I'm just kind of repeatedly clamping down the pliers as I'm rolling it. Check that out, guys. Focus. You know what? Let's put that in as is. Okay. So all I've done is use those needle nose pliers. So what you're seeing is I'm getting a little bit of constant paint. And that's simply because the needle wasn't pushed all the way in. All right, guys. So I've put that needle, push it all the way forward. It's not as good as it was. 
It's a little bit skippy. But guys, if you need to finish your product, or if you need to finish your project, there you go. All right, one step further, guys. Wet sandpaper, okay? This is 800 grit, wet or dry. You can use a little bit of water. Have it on a nice flat surface, guys. What I like to do is just sort of, again, all I'm doing is pushing down a little bit with my finger and just rolling it over the sandpaper. Keep on rolling it, guys, and you're just going to polish off that surface even better take it to the next step guys if you've got a polishing stone for sharpening stone for knives same sort of thing guys Just a little bit of pressure and all I'm doing is rolling that needle row 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 your yeah you get it you get it and you can do that a few times guys until you feel like You've got yourself a nicely polished needle. Now, that's our needle. Okay, this thing is as good as it can be. All right, we'll do that. Put this back into the airbrush carefully. And let's see if we've got rid of that skipping pattern, okay? So when I say skipping, you can kind of see here how it's kind of going dit, 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 instead of right here where it's kind of a nice, all right, sorry, right here where it's a nice line. So let's see if we got rid of that. I'm going to say that's a heck of a lot better, guys. What probably happened is as my needle bent, my little tiny nozzle on the inside probably flared up a little bit. So that little centrical ring on that nozzle. Now we're getting into the microscopic. I don't know if you guys are going to see that. But that little tiny nozzle possibly flared up. Get a magnifying glass. Check it out for yourself, guys. That's what I do. At this point, push your needle all the way forward. Tighten her up. Grab that same pair of needle nose pliers, guys. And same thing. All you are doing is ever so gently pinching that tip of that nozzle and just rolling it a little bit. And what you're doing is you're seating that against that needle. Do that a few times, guys. Ever so carefully. There's no real point to using sandpaper at this point because you're at the external part of the nozzle all right we're not looking at, we're not talking about interior surfaces put your cap back on and let's see if this got even better well paint is essential <laughs> all right guys we're pretty close on this one let me know what you think did this help you out Rock and roll. That's how I do. You can do it too. <laughs> what do you guys think? Another hack? Another tip for the brain box? Another way to help you out of a possible jam should you find yourself in one? That's what I'm here for, guys. I've been through it all. Mostly. <laughs> Never say all. <laughs> That's when life kicks you. <gasps> Alright man, I've been through a lot. <laughs> and I've learned. So, I hope this helps you along your journey. There are kits that you can buy to sharpen new needles. To get yourself a sharpening stone, guys, is about the same price as a single needle. So, maybe it's more efficient to buy one of those and reuse it. And guys, here's one more thing. 
I don't throw away any of my needles. All right, so once they get completely bent, and I don't know if you're seeing that at all, but this guy's got a nice little hook on him. I made that hook. I use this for cleaning out dried paint inside my airbrush. I use this for picking at, well, stuff. <laughs> I've also used these for scratching down paint. Just an old needle, man. I've kept every single needle I've ever bought. Um, cleaning out your nozzle. If you take one of these broken, busted needles and you just kick that tip up just a little tiny bit, you can actually push that through your airbrush as you're turning it and that'll hone out any paint that might have dried inside your nozzle, inside the chamber. Guys, helpful tips. Sorry about the lighting on that one, but my arm is getting tired. I hope you guys are inspired. And with that one, guys, we'll call that a hack. All right, man and ladies and peoples and beasts of all kinds. <laughs> As always, like, follow, subscribe. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Cheers. And there you have it. One more video to save you some dollars, guys. Be sure to check out the beginner series if that's where you at. Project tutorials if that's what you want to see. And thanks a lot for joining me. Cheers.